Hi, my name is Haley Cepeda. I've been an, a fitness instructor for over 20 years and I became a personal trainer in 2007. I've always had a passion and love for anything fitness and nutrition related. I wanted to further educate myself on how to help individuals, so I became a certified health coach through Duke Integrative Medicine in 2018. I wanted a greater understanding of nutrition, so I became a precision nutrition coach and then opted to take the Moderation 365 course as I knew this was how I mostly wanted to coach my clients. I struggled with food and exercise most of my life. For two decades, I lost and gained weight over and over again. I suffered from numerous eating disorders and compulsive exercise, but I put in the work necessary to recover. I read and learned about the physiological and psychological components of proper nutrition and movement, and I think having lived through it has given me a greater appreciation and understanding of where people are coming from. Everyone has a story, I firmly believe that, and my struggles have fostered a greater sense of empathy. I coach women because our bodies are different from men's. I took Jade Tita's course on the metabolic female so that I could learn about hormones and nutrition and fit how fitness affects our bodies, which is different from men's. I know from firsthand experience that as we get older, the things that once worked for us don't work as well now. Our bodies are changing, so it only makes sense to do things differently and take different approaches. What may have worked in the past won't necessarily work for us going forward. I've struggled with low thyroid and sex hormone levels, and I've had to seek out additional support away from traditional Western medicine doctors in order to receive the proper information and care. I've done a ton of research on low energy availability and how important it is to properly fuel our bodies, especially around training. There is also still a strong belief that in order to lose weight, you have to eat less and exercise more. And yes, a caloric deficit is necessary for weight loss. But without the foundational components in place, steering clear of deprivation and leaning into the discomfort of not shutting your brain off around food, with food, nothing is sustainable. We have to have those foundational principles in place first. Evening out the highs and lows of our eating, learning what it means to feel satisfied, and navigating the middle when it comes to food. We eat the same on Saturday as we do on Sunday. There's no deprivation and no white knuckling through eating. We're always aiming for satisfaction. Basically, in my opinion, all foods fit. Overall, I am incredibly passionate about anything pertaining to nutrition and fitness, specifically with women. I firmly believe that if a client is not successful, I need to do a better job as a coach to get to the root of why. I want to empower women to reclaim their lives, their confidence, their fitness, and develop a positive relationship with food. They deserve it. We all do.